so we're going to be doing the intersection of two lines. Now, <clears throat> you're familiar with finding the intersection of two lines in two-dimensional space. So, <clears throat> if we have two lines, this line and that line, we can find where they intersect by solving the um, simultaneous equations for these two lines. In three-dimensional space, it becomes a bit more tricky. Oops. <clears throat> so, in three-dimensional space, um, we have three possibilities. So, number one, lines are parallel. And we know that they're parallel if their directional vector are the same. Two, they are not parallel. Oops, a daisy. And intersect. And they intersect. Or, and that way we can solve, like, simultaneous equations. And the third possibility is they are not parallel. <coughs> and don't intersect. In that case, we call such lines are called skew. So if you've got um, in a three dimensional space, you've got two vector lines and they're not parallel, they don't intersect, we call those two lines skew. And um, we obviously, with <coughs> in two dimensional space, we only have the two possibilities of the lines being parallel. And if they're not parallel, they will at some point intersect. So we can have that in three-dimensional space too. But we have this new possibility that these two lines just exist completely separate from each other and they will never intersect. So let's look at how we deal with non-parallel intersecting lines. <coughs> so in, we already mentioned that if in two-dimensional space we would just solve the simultaneous equations. And we have to do the same sort of thing in three-dimensional space. So let's look at a couple of, uh, let's look at an example of this. So we're given that the lines with vector equations r equals i 2j minus 4 k plus lambda minus i minus j plus k and we've got another line r um, 2i minus 2j plus k plus mu i plus 2j minus 7k. <coughs> and they intersect at point A and we want to find point A. So we've got these two lines and what we want to do is we're going to pull out the, the different components for the coordinates. So the x coordinate for our first line. So we've got line 1 
and we've got x is 1 minus lambda. Our y coordinate is minus 2 minus lambda. And our z coordinate is minus 4 plus lambda. And line 2, we have our x coordinate is 2 plus lambda, to plus mu, sorry. And our y coordinate is 2, minus 2, sorry, minus 2 plus 2 mu. And our z coordinate is 1 minus 7 mu. And now we can equate these equations. So 1 minus lambda equals 2 plus mu. Minus 2 minus lambda equals minus 2 plus 2 mu. And minus 4 plus lambda equals 1 minus 7 mu. And so we've got equation 1 equation 2 and equation 3 and we can solve these like um, simultaneous equations. So from equation 1 we have lambda equals minus 1 minus mu. And now we're going to substitute this into 3. So we have minus 4, so minus 4, and then we've got our lambda, so it's going to be minus 1 minus mu equals 1 minus 7 mu. And this Solving this, we get 6 mu equals 6, so mu equals 1. That there, therefore, we know that lambda equals minus 1 minus mu, so lambda must be minus 1 minus mu, which is 1. So that's going to be minus 2. So now we can check our results. Our coordinate for x, well here we've got 1 minus mu, um, 1 minus lambda, sorry, and lambda is minus 2, so lambda, so 1 minus minus 2 is 3, y is minus 2 minus minus 2, so that's going to be 0, and z is minus 2 minus 2 which is minus 6 and if we check the other side with our mu coordinate we've got x equals 2 plus um, 1 which is 3 y is minus 2 plus 2 times 1 which is 0 and z is um, 1 minus 7, which is 6. So our coordinate for A is 3, 0, 6, and it's confirmed that our, we get the same values <coughs> for x, y, and z uh, but when we check both lots of equations. So that's the case for when we've got non-parallel intersecting lines. What about skew lines? So non-parallel, non-intersecting lines. So let's show that the lines R equals 4, I plus 7, J plus 5, K plus lambda, minus 2i plus j 
plus 3k um, and the line R equals I plus J plus 10k plus mu minus 6i plus j plus 4k. It's a bit tedious, I'm afraid, but they don't intersect. So we're going to use the same method. <coughs> so again, we're going to pull out the x, y, and z components of both lines. So we've got line 1. So our x component is 4 minus 2 lambda. Our y component is 7 plus lambda. Our z component is 5 plus 3 lambda. And for line 2, we have x is 1 minus 6 mu. y is 1 plus mu and z is 10 plus 4 mu and so we're going to equate these so we've got 4 minus 2 lambda equals 1 minus 6 mu that's equation 1 7 plus lambda equals 1 plus mu that's equation 2 and 7, 5 plus 3 lambda equals 10 plus 4 mu. That's equation 3. Now, <coughs> you can pick any one. We're going to pick the second equation because it's the easiest to deal with. From equation 2, we get lambda equals mu minus 6. And we're going to substitute into 3. So we've got 5 plus, um, I've missed it, 3, mu minus 6 equals 10 plus 4 mu. So this gives us, solving this, we get mu equals minus 23. And up here we have lambda equals minus 23 minus 6 equals minus 29. That is a bit messy. So now let's put these figures into our equations up here. I'll do it down here. So, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm all, of, I'm all skew with. My lines are skew. Um, so... Um, so our x from line 1 is going to be 4 minus 2 times minus 29, which gives us 62. y is 7 plus minus 29, which gives us minus 22. And z is... 7 plus 3 minus 29, which is minus 82. Now, if we do the same for our line 2 values using mu, x equals 1 minus 6 times minus 23, and that gives us 139. So you're starting to see these don't work. These don't match y is um, 1 plus minus 23, which is minus 22. And finally, z is 10 plus 4 times minus 23, which gives us minus 82. So the z coordinate is the same. The y coordinate is the same, but our x coordinate is not the same. So um, the values of lambda and mu do not give a consistent 
point. So no intersection. The lines are therefore screwed. Now, when you're if you're doing if you were to, if you were investigating two lines to find if they were skew or if they were intersecting, and you did your x and x and that they were correct, don't assume that means that they are intersecting because the, as we see in this example, only the x coordinates, um, don't match. Um, the y coordinates and the z coordinates do match. So if you had the case where x and x were the same, y and y were the same. Z and Z might still be um, not matching and therefore the lines would be skew. So do go through all the steps and don't try and um, cut off the bit at the end thinking, oh, you're, you're, you're home and dry. Um, just watch out for that one. Okay, hope that helps.